again, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to do a, um, hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, a procedural hair group, and I'm going to try to adjust the, um, hair to be a little thicker. This is going to be kind of a wavy hairstyle. Um, somebody had asked about, like, a, a wavy, like, a, a Merida from Brave, or, um, yeah, so I figured we would, you know, try to do that. Uh, so I basically wrapped it around the whole head, and I'm curving it in a little bit, and this one I'm going to use a lot of the twists, because it's a little hard to do them otherwise, but, uh, and this would definitely look a lot better with a custom texture instead of the default textures I'm using, but I'm using default textures to just kind of show you what can be done. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start off with the, the bottom layer, and as you see, I, I, I twisted up um, the hair. I'm thinning it down a little bit, and I'm trying to make it shape the head just a little bit more. Add a few more hairs to kind of like fill it in, because I want a lot of these twisties. Uh, it's a little hard to see with uh, it highlighting through the head. We're gonna curl this around the face to frame the face a little bit. Just pull in these points. Now, yeah. pull it right on in. I want it as close as possible. Oh. Yeah. I undid the mirror and pull this out a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, now I'm uh, just gonna clone this group and then adjust the points. Uh, I can use the offset to pull it out a little bit and then adjust each of the points in order to kind of bulk it up because I want a lot of layers and I want it like a bit bulky. So I'm going to just slowly work my way out. Rounding it off a little bit as we go. Trying to give it more of a natural drop, if you will. Mm. A little thicker. Kind of fill it in a little bit. Yeah, I got deselected so you can actually see it. I'm gonna clone it again. Uh, gonna lower the number of hairs a bit. So they kind of like go in between each other. And increase the uh, offset. And then again, just adjusting the points. Just foof foof. Pull it out a little bit. Gotta get the back of the head. Mm. Pull it out a little bit more. It's very much trial and error. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna pull the bottom layers a little bit, just so it tapers a little bit, you know. Mmm. Hmm. Alright, uh, clone it again. And lower the hairs. And pull it off to one side. I'm gonna make kind of like one side a little poofier than the other. Yeah. And I'm just sort of adjusting the intervals. Um. And the tip curliness, so it kind of like tapers a little bit. 
Yeah, we'll pull it up a little bit, kind of make it look like there's almost a part here. It's a little, some of a little bit like an afro that's parted and like gone to two separate sides. Uh, adjusting the twist just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna pull in the back a little bit so it doesn't stand out as much. Yeah. Something like that. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can try to move the this hair a little bit. I'm gonna move it forward. You see, you see how the part's kind of moving forward on the head it's by adjusting the um, X and Y. You can adjust where that part's gonna be. Yeah. All right. Or maybe a. Uh, Fix. Uh, a lot of this, a lot of this is fiddly. It's, it's all I'm doing is fiddling around. It's just fiddle this, fiddle that. Get the tip curliness up a little bit. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, I'm gonna add a freehand group, and I'm going to draw in some extra hairs to kind of fill in this gap a little bit. I'm going to give them twists as well. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, thinner and twist it up a little bit. So it's like stray hairs. this way. I'm just trying to look like they've uh, escaped from the the main part. And then we'll just pull it out a little bit. Yeah. That's okay. Little touch-ups here and there. Just that tip curliness and maybe make it more of a point on the curve. Yeah. It's not, not too much of a tutorial here just because a lot of this is just me Figuring it out as I go along. But you can kind of follow along, and since these tutorials aren't terribly long, you can get the general idea of what I'm doing. It's a lot of fiddling with it. And as I mentioned before, this would definitely look a lot better if I, um, had, like, a custom hair texture and not the default one. But I really wanted to just kind of use some default like hair textures for this instead of making new hair textures for each one. Let's give this a little more lift. And pull this out a little bit. There's um no limit to how much of this you can go. You can keep going with this. Just like up and up and up until you have like a full on afro. Just slowly uh, widening the base and then straight up. So you get the whole thing in there. Mmm. 
make it a little smaller. That such a weird looking texture from above. <laughs> this is why it would be good to just like adjust the um all of it uh make its own original texture. This is why I don't usually like doing all the textures going in the same direction, but for something like this, I'm just as it's kind of more tutorial. I just narrowed that down a little bit so it's a sharper point. I don't know, I just whoa. Just give it kind of more of a darker color. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's pretty much how I would do um, a curly hair. Um, I would probably also go into the skin editor or the body editor and change the hair underneath, like the skin tone underneath the match. I'm just gonna grab like big chunks of this and make for some bonus, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of bonus. Uh, this hair texture or this hair preset is also available from my booth if you're interested in picking it up. Um, for those of you who don't want to uh, make them yourself, I uh, decided I will have them up over there as well. Um, yeah, but if you have any questions on like how I do this, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I am not able to get to everybody, but I do my best. Uh, and it may be a little bit, but I try to get back to um, questions if I can, as long as they're not terribly redundant. Like when I get like 12 of the same question, I kind of stop at answering it. Um, but yeah, uh, if this has been helpful for you, um, then please give this video a like. I'll take questions down below. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, uh, yeah. And if you want to see videos early or whatever, I uh, now have a members page and you can join and become a member and then get emotes from my chats for streaming and shit. Yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, I'll see you later.